Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Around the World in Films where I pick a country, I'll pick a movie from that country and we try to experience the country through the movie. Why do I do this? Because I think films are educative and they can help us experience the world around us. Today we are going to Japan and we are doing that to the film Still Walking. The film chronicles 24 hours in the life of the Yoko Yama family who come together to commemorate the death anniversary of the eldest son who died 12 years ago. The second son and the daughter along with their spouses and their kids arrive at their parents home. The film does not have a specific plot but it's a meditative film that gradually unravels interpersonal dynamics lingering regrets and of course the joys of family food and cooking in this video i'm going to focus on three parts the first one is cultural traits uh, there are some aspects in the film that throw light on japanese culture the second one is uh, the japanese aesthetics and this is my most favorite part and third one i'd like to elaborate on some of my most favorite parts from the movie so the first thing i noticed in the movie is that how the japanese make elaborate gestures of respect towards the neighbors even when they just meet on the street or pass by them they make a full bow it all looks so dignified the second thing is how they welcome guests into their home when the second son ryota and his family arrive at the house the elderly mother kneels down at the entrance foyer with profuse gestures of uh, welcome and hands each member of the family a replacement slippers that is own inside the home and the last custom i would like to uh, notice that when the family visits the grave of the deceased son they gently pour water on the tombstone it seems it's a traditional japanese custom now let's come to the japanese aesthetics which is my most favorite aspect of the film first the home architecture where there's an entrance foyer which is also called as the genkin where the host welcomes the guest and the genkin acts as the separator between the outside world and the inside world it is where you uh, leave your uh, dirty footwear and then you have the wooden floors and then you have the sliding doors and screens which are called as shoji i'm pretty sure i'm messing up all the japanese pronunciations but i really love those sliding doors the second aspect we see in the movie uh, is the beautiful streets they are very clean and they have green plants on either side this film uh, looks like it's set in a a uh, smaller town uh, away from the glitz of a uh, crowded city uh, but these streets are really beautiful and i would love to walk on the streets the third aspect that i love is the low short legged tables on which the characters have their meals and there is an aspect in uh, traditional japanese homes uh, these low tables feel really cozy and to me the short legged table some of feels that it brings you much closer to the people you are having the food with Uh, as compared to uh, you know the normal western dining table and finally the characters are shown taking a dip in a bathtub uh, just before bed and i think this is an aspect in japanese homes where they take bath before bed it was also a feature in another japanese movie that i had watched just to watch these characters soak in the bathtub is really therapeutic now coming to my favorite parts in the movie a uh, quite apt to its name still walking The film has several long walking sequences where the characters walk around the beautiful streets and these walks are my most favorite parts in the movie. First the elderly father goes on a solitude and walk. Second Ryota and his family walk from the train station to his father's home. Third the kids take a walk on their own uh, munching on a eatable and finally the whole family walks to the cemetery. I I don't quite know what it is but I could keep watching these walking sequences endlessly. The other aspect I love in the movie is the collective cooking and the time the entire family spends in the kitchen. Uh the mother as in any culture plans an elaborate meal for the family and the entire family helps in the meal preparations like separating the corn kernel etc. Now it's three generations of the family in the kitchen helping with the meal preparations and as they cook they share personal stories and cooking tips and of course we see Japanese food particularly we see the preparation of the corn tempura which is something that I definitely want to cook sometime soon now that was our trip to Japan 
through the movie still walking next time i'll catch you up with a different country and a different movie until then you could check out the other countries here goodbye